Now the quintessential mortise and tenon joint is a way of joining two boards together basically at right angles to each other to make a frame as in door frames or window frames or cabinet frames but it's a way of joining them together so the bond is not just screws, nails, biscuits, dowels it's a mechanical joint where the two pieces of wood fit right in. One has a hole in it, one has a tenon, a, a, an extension of the wood that's left that fits into the hole and the two lock together. Now, one of the first big problems is how large, how thick do you make the tenon? And that depends not on so much on the wood you have, although the thicker the wood, the thicker the tenon, but it doesn't depend so much on the wood. It depends on the chisel. This is a mortising chisel, a sash mortising chisel. It's, it's a fairly light chisel, but still quite thick. It's only 5 sixteenths of an inch wide, but it's quite thick. Now you can get an idea of, of the difference if you compare the sash mortising chisel with a bench chisel, just a paring chisel. Look at the difference in thickness. The width is almost the same, but the thickness is three times what it is for a paring chisel. That gives this chisel the strength to be pounded and punch a hole through. Now we still gotta find out where to put that hole. Well, we're gonna want it someplace. This is the piece we're going to put the hole in, the mortise in. We're gonna put the hole somewhere in this the middle of the thickness. But we can't just start pounding it in. We've got to actually put in gauge lines. Now the easiest way to do that is with a gauge. You can use an ordinary marking gauge, but an ordinary marking gauge has one pin, just one little pin. It makes one line. That, that complicates matters. Much easier if you have a mortising gauge. If you can get a look at that. A mortising gauge has two pins. This is adjustable. You can adjust the pins to fit different size chisels. Just have it so the chisel drops in between those points. Once that's in place, you can adjust the fence, tighten it down, and get it right where you want it. You can uh, spend a lot of money on mortising gauges. They come in rosewood and brass and all kinds of knobs and, and bells and whistles. Not in my shop. In my shop, I just made a set. Very simple. Two pins, preset to fit the chisel. I have a separate gauge for each chisel and just a wedge to hold it in place. So basically we can just find the spot. Gauge off the face of the board, just pick a spot. Somewhere in the middle, let's not get fancy. Tighten that down. Look at that, two lines. And we're going right over to the back side Still gauging off the face. There. That's where our mortise is going to be. I'm just going to darken those up a little bit. That's the wood we're going to take out. As for the tenon, the piece that's going in there, we use exactly the same gauge at exactly the same setting. Again, we just gauge off the face and we'll gauge on the end. I've already marked the depth with a, just with a pencil line. But gauge all the way around the piece. I'll darken that up. This is what we take out for the mortise. This is what we leave in for the tenon. They're going to fit like that. So that's the basic layout. Now we'll chop the mortise, 
and then we'll cut the tenon. 